How many of you imagine about exploding nukes on the surface of the moon? While the topic is very much debatable, humans are set to achieve something similar. But, it's not something we should be proud of. A piece of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which was launched in 2015, has gone out of control and is currently on a collision course with the moon. The Falcon 9 booster was launched as part of a space weather satellite program. But since it ran out of fuel and lacks the energy to escape the Earth-Moon system, it has been floating around in space in a chaotic orbit since then. The 4.4 tons of metal are traveling at a staggering speed of 5,000 miles per hour, that is 9,288 kilometers per hour, while being sucked in by the moon's gravity. The rocket's upper stage is now expected to hit the far side of the moon on March 4, 2022, according to Bill Gray, a developer of software that tracks near-Earth objects. The rocket is projected to hit the moon near the equator, and since the impact is on the far side of the moon there is no possibility to see the crash from Earth. However experts might provide us some satellite imagery from the NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The predicted crash will create a new crater and will do little or no harm to the moon, but might definitely offer the scientists a rare opportunity to study how craters are formed on the moon. Astronomers anticipate a big burst of light and a dust cloud on the moon, similar to this NASA simulation. According to scientists, this abandoned rocket is part of a growing man-made issue of space junk. Images show tens of thousands of pieces of debris orbiting the globe. We humans made the same mistake with the ocean, assuming that since it is so large, we can throw whatever we want in there and it won't be a problem. Yet, now most of the oceans are already overflowing with loads of poisonous trash, forming a massive garbage patch that is wreaking havoc on marine life. Last year Russia placed the International Space Station at risk when one of its satellites exploded, and released hundreds of thousands of shrapnel-like shots that might have potentially breached the ISS. This isn't the first time a human-made satellite has crashed into the moon. In 2009, NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite was fired into the moon's south pole releasing a plume that allowed scientists to discover critical water ice characteristics. What do you think about the space junk problem and who is responsible for it? Please do let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.